Hi, my name is Bill Reese. I'm a finance professor at Tulane University's A.B. Freeman School of Business, and I teach the introductory finance course in Tulane's MBA program. I have an MBA myself with a concentration in finance from Virginia Tech, and I hold a PhD in finance from the University of Arizona. Today, I'd like to talk with you about the financial value of an MBA using a few basic Excel formulas that you'll learn in your first finance class. Let me share a spreadsheet with you that I've created. We'll start with a few basic assumptions. According to a survey of corporate recruiters that was conducted by the Graduate Management Admissions Council, the median starting salary for someone graduating with a bachelor's degree is $65,000 per year. As you probably know, this means that half of the bachelor's degree graduates start out earning more than this number and half start out earning less. The same survey also found that the median starting salary for an MBA was $115,000, significantly more than that with a bachelor's degree alone. Let's assume that the typical working career lasts 43 years for someone graduating with a bachelor's degree, while it is only 41 years for an MBA due to an investment of two years in the MBA program. Next, it's fair to say that the cost of an MBA is about $100,000 when you include tuition, books, and incidentals. However, if you're fortunate enough to earn a scholarship, your cost may be less than this. We're also going to say that you're following the advice of most financial professionals and saving 10% of your income for retirement. Finally, we'll assume that those savings are invested to earn an average annual return of about 6%, which is in line with historic averages for a well-diversified portfolio. We're going to ask Excel to solve for the future value of an annuity, which it can easily do through one of its pre-installed functions. Now, an annuity is a level stream of cash flows. In this case, your retirement savings. And the future value is how much money it will grow to become. Now, you can see that we're using cell referencing in Excel to say that for someone with a bachelor's degree, the rate of return is 6%, the number of periods is 43, and the amount saved each year is 10% of $65,000. Excel tells us that this person will have about $1.2 million saved at retirement, which is pretty good. However, someone with an MBA will have saved almost $1.8 million, despite working two fewer years and paying the $100,000 cost of the MBA. The MBA graduate will have saved 48% more for retirement than the person with a bachelor's degree alone. Now, saving for retirement isn't the only way to compare an undergraduate degree with an MBA. In finance, we learned that the best way to compare two different sets of cash flows is by calculating their present values. Here in Excel, we use Excel's present value function to find the present value of an undergraduate degree is about $995,000. But the present value of an MBA is 65% higher. It's more than $1.6 million. This means that if we discount your lifetime earnings with an MBA back to today at a discount rate of 6%, it is the financial equivalent of having $1.6 million right now. Finally, instead of assuming that your annual earnings stay constant over your working career, let's assume that they grow at a rate of 3% per year. Or if you want to bring inflation into the discussion, let's assume that your earnings grow at an average of 3% per year more than the inflation rate. Now we'll be looking at the present value of a growing annuity. Now, Excel doesn't have a preloaded function for this, but during your first finance class, you'll learn how to write this formula yourself. As you can see, if you assume that your annual income will be growing at 3% per year, 
the present value of an undergraduate degree is about $1.5 million. However, with an MBA, that figure is $2.5 million, an increase of 66%. Clearly, an MBA is an excellent financial investment. Just as important as the earnings increase, however, a Tulane MBA will give you valuable experience, a network of colleagues, and an opportunity to live and study in the unique city of New Orleans. You know, experts say that the best investment you can make is in yourself. Let me encourage you to invest in yourself through your education with an MBA at Tulane's Freeman School of Business. If you do, I look forward to seeing you in class this fall. Have a great day.